50 questions or over 50 questions my sparkling drink <laughs> I'm ready to sit down and chit chat with you guys Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and a long time ago it feels like I asked you guys to send in questions that you would want me to answer for you and I never got around to sitting down and filming that because these types of videos do take a little bit of time whereas like I need to have a quiet space and that was just not the case this past summer and I know a lot of you guys are in the same boat. Plus I had over 50 questions sent in. I put a post on my community tab here on YouTube and then I also asked for questions over on Instagram. So I've got a lot to get through. You guys enjoy these types of videos, grab yourself a drink and let's go ahead and dive right in. So first question was to reintroduce myself and I thought that was great. So like I said, my name is Vanessa. I am married to my husband, Mark. We just celebrated 10 years towards the end of August. And then we have four kids. So our oldest is Paige, she is 16. Then we have Bryce, who is nine and a half, and twin girls, Rose and Pearl, who will be turning eight in the very beginning of November. We also have two dogs, Bella and Buford, and then one cat, Polly. Now, my younger three do go to public school, but my oldest does an online homeschool program. And my husband works outside of the home, a Monday through Friday job, so he always has the weekends off. And then I work from home on YouTube, and I have a couple other things that I do on the side as well, all related to the social media aspects. So the last what four? I think I just started fifth, my fifth year in February. It's been a really fun four and a half years being on social media with you guys. Okay, so now that I have introduced myself and just given a little bit of our family dynamics, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the rest of the question. Do you watch the news slash media about how other countries are tackling COVID-19? Um, I actually, we do not have cable or anything like that. I don't sit down and watch any kind of like news for or anything like that in our area. The main way I get my news is Philip DeFranco. I watch his show here on YouTube. I'll list his channel down below. I love how he just is quick about it and talks about not only news here in the USA, but worldly news and things that pop up within the YouTube community and other social media outlets. I really love watching him. And also, if I happen to see something scrolling social media, I will click on it. I follow all of our, I've got the dogs in here with me. I follow all of our local news outlets on, news outlets on Facebook. So I'll check in a couple times a day and if I see something, I will read it. But other than that, I try to stay away from the news <laughs> because it could just get you down, you know? All right, another one is, which meal do you hate cooking the most? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? All right, so this, the answer to this question has changed over since I started YouTube. I used to love cooking dinner. And now if I'm happen to be filming that dinner, it does take a little bit away from it just because I have to continuously move things around. It just takes a little bit more time. I wouldn't say hate cooking um, because I love being in the kitchen and I love making food and I love trying new things and I love you guys suggesting things and me trying that. Um, but as far as like the least fun is when I am filming a meal just because dinner time, everybody's home. I wait to start dinner until I know that my husband is on his way home and that way we can sit down and eat together. So by the time I'm still getting everything together and cooking everything, everybody's home. The kids are home from school. The dogs have just been fed and they're out running around. I mean, it's a hot mess in my house when I'm trying to film dinner. <laughs> so I would just say it's not as enjoyable as if I was just in the kitchen cooking um, any other time. So I love doing it but it's definitely um, a little, it can be stressful. Let's just leave it at that. It can be stressful at dinner time with everybody home and really whether I'm filming or not. Filming just takes it up a little bit of a notch, but um, no matter what, dinner time is the most stressful because kids, they can't be fed fast enough. Describe your perfect day with kids and without kids. So without kids is super easy. I love traveling, so my perfect 
well actually if it was just a normal day it would just be doing errands or something with mark i love getting out of the house with him where it's just him and i or having the house to ourselves every now and then my parents will take all the kids and watch them for a night and then it's super quiet in the house and Mark and I can either knock some things out, errands or house things that we wanna get done or just sit and chat, find a show to watch. That's my favorite day without kids. It's just nice and simple. We don't even have to go out to eat. We could cook here. Mark enjoys cooking in the kitchen on the rare time that he gets to do that. So that would be without kids, just hanging out with the hubby, nice and simple. Perfect day with kids is a little harder just because they enjoy so many different things. We really had a great time when we go on vacations. That's a lot of fun. I love doing that with the kids because it's something new um, for them to experience getting them out of the house. But I think if I had to pick like one thing, like the perfect day with my kids would be doing whatever, whether it be here, like planning something, going on vacation, but a day where they don't argue. <laughs> like that would be the perfect day because I mean, my three younger ones just butt heads a lot. And it sometimes it does get a little tiring having to deal with all that as a mom. So I think my perfect day would be if my kids could just get along for one full day and not have to one up each other. Mainly Pearl and Bryce are the two that their personalities are so similar that, and they're both very, very stubborn and they both want to be in charge that they're the ones that knock heads all the time. Next question. If you weren't a stay at home mom and YouTuber, what job would you like outside of the home? So if you were to ask me 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago, when I was in high school, I always thought I would be a teacher. Now that's real funny considering my kids are back in public school and homeschool just didn't work out for us. So maybe that was, everything works out, right? Everything happens, right, for a reason and all that. So I don't know if that's what I would have done if I stayed the course that I was on early high school. But one job thinking about right now that I would love to do is flip houses or uh, be a realtor or something like that because I just love looking at homes. I love looking and seeing the homes that are for sale. I love going to, what are they called around here? Parade of homes and getting ideas. Now, who knows if I would be any good at it, at it. I have no idea. I'm having a hard enough time decorating my own house. Like I cannot make a decision, but I feel like it would be more fun to do it for somebody else. You know what I mean? Like take somebody else to buy their first home or buy a really just run down house and kind of just redo it and sell it. And you know, like flipping houses. I don't know. I just, I think I would have a good time doing that and that would be something fun. And it also, I would definitely want to do something that I can make my own hours and I could go to the kit, go with the kids on field trips. Or if we wanted to take a specific vacation, be able to do that and not be stuck somewhere or anything like that. So thinking about it, I think that is something to do with like realtor or flipping houses or something like that. Do you prefer to shop in store for groceries or order grocery delivery? I definitely prefer to shop in store. Now, ordering groceries, that is super convenient. And when COVID first broke out, or not first broke out, but when it really became adamant that you needed to stay home and all that, um, I definitely, appreciated the grocery delivery, but wanting to share specific things with you guys, it was frustrating when I didn't get things that I wanted. Now, it was super easy to get a refund and all of that, but it's still frustrating when you're asking for groceries and you don't get what you want or they pick something that you wouldn't have picked. I don't know. It's very convenient and I was very grateful to have the opportunity to have groceries delivered like that, but I definitely prefer going in store, picking out my own things, and it's a little cheaper doing that also because of fees and tips and all of that. This question um, was just, what do you do for work? So obviously I have this YouTube channel. My good friend, Nicole, and K Nicole Kira and I put out a cookbook. So that is just ongoing revenue from that. And also we've got a couple of fun projects coming up in the future. It's all just around social media, um, influencing, sharing with you guys and all of that. Um, any, th any type of Amazon affiliate link. I mean, my work is this and everything that goes with YouTube. So it's not just my paycheck from Google. It's a lot of other affiliate things. If I happen to team up with a company that I enjoy and I share that with you guys, sometimes I'm just sharing a product um, and other times I do get paid for that. I let you guys know that if it's a sponsored video or if I was just sent the product. So it's a lot of little things, but basically 
it all started as this channel is my job and it is a fun job so a lot of people like to call it a hobby i called it a hobby in the beginning when i wasn't really serious about it and i was just posting and all of that but once i really um decided that hey this is what i want to do that's when it became a job and work is it still fun yes is it stressful though yes is it time consuming yes so definitely this is my job, what you guys are seeing right here. So this is me working, doing the Q&A with y'all. Every video you see, that is me working and sharing my content with you guys. Okay, so I got a lot of questions on Paige, um, my oldest daughter, and I will, let's read them and I'll answer what I can. It probably won't be very much because she is a very private person and I know she used to share a lot. She had her own channel and all, and she loved being in videos and you guys who have been with me for that amount of time, for that long, miss that. But I'm not going to force her to be in front of the camera and she's already asked me not to share specific things and all of that. So when you guys ask me questions, sometimes I do delete them because she just doesn't want them on there. Anything having to do with Paige and I, I can't apologize for that because I'm not going to force her to be in front of the camera. And I know a lot of you guys are curious and you, it's all from, you know, the good of your heart that you're just curious and you want to know. But at the end of the day, it is her decision. And she has asked me not to answer specific questions or share specific things. It was a lot for me to do that happy birthday video, the 16 year old video. I mean, I know a lot of that was just pictures that I shared, but it was still felt very personal to her. And that was a big step for me doing that and getting permission from her to share all those pictures. So let's, let's go over these questions and then we'll see. All right. So why is Paige vegan? It's not health reasons. They, somebody did say health reasons or just something she wanted. It's something that she wanted to do. How long has she been vegan? Oh my gosh. I feel like she's been vegan forever. She actually started out as vegetarian where she just wasn't eating meat. She was still eating animal products. Like she would still consume cheese and eggs and what else? Um, like snacks and stuff that have the, what is it? Some kind of, uh, is it gallon, gallon gum or I don't know. There's an ingredient in a lot of snacks that now she's like, no, I don't really want to consume that. So it feels like it's been for a while, but I want to say at least two years, if not longer than that. It's just our norm now. That's just, that's her diet. That's what she chooses to eat. And we have incorporated that into our lifestyle and how we create meals and all of that. Oh, I did have somebody ask if she would be the one to answer that question and, and no, she doesn't want to be on camera. So you guys get me. All right. How long have you been with Mark and how old were you when you became a mommy? So Mark and I've been married for 10 years. We've been together for 11. And how old was I when I became a mommy? I was 20 years old when I had Paige. Was the tiny house a temporary move for y'all? Yes, it was never a long-term thing. It was always meant to be we're moving out. Um, originally we were going to build, if you guys are not new, we did live in a little tiny home for a little bit on my parents' property. It has now been converted into a really good size boat shed for my dad. Um, next time I'll, I'll, I'm out there, I'll try to either film it or take pictures and share it with you guys. It's been a little while. He's, it looks fantastic. It's, I mean, it looks great. He's decorated it really great. All his organization, it's really cool. I can't even believe it when I look at it now that we all fit in there. It was definitely snug and not fun. But yes, that was always temporary. Um, like I mentioned, we were going to build, but once we cleared the lots that we were looking at, they were just not good lots for having a home on, especially the size that we were looking to build. So once Mark and I went back and forth and we tried to make it work and we were like, you know what, we're just not happy. We're not happy with what this is. We're not happy with what we would be paying. We didn't want to be house poor. You know, we didn't want to be living to where we're only paying for the house and not able to do anything else. That just wouldn't be any fun. So the more we thought about it, I started just slowly looking at homes in that area and they were all just not going to work for us. So we did end up moving a little further away than we originally planned. Like I mentioned, I am a huge thing of just enjoy the journey. Everything works out. I say that to Mark every, all the time. Everything's going to work out. It's going to be fine. And we stumbled across the house that we're in now. And I was like, this is very similar to what we were going to build. It's a lot cheaper than what we were going to build. So we would 
not be living just to make the mortgage payment. I mean, we are well within our means and it, that's just how it worked out. <laughs> I could go on and on. I feel like it was such a hard decision. We've had a lot of hard decisions the past couple years. I'm hoping that we can have a year where it's just smooth sailing, but that's okay. I enjoy the little hiccups. We learn from all of it, but yes, long story for the tiny house. I feel like I haven't talked about the tiny house in a while, so I'm chit-chatting. I haven't done a chit-chat video, um, but yes, it was just temporary. We were going to build. We ended up buying. We are going to build in the future, but we don't want to build something the size that we are in now. We don't want to build for our family now. We want to build for retirement, so that's kind of our, our plans right now. So we plan on being here unless something happens and a hiccup comes up and we want to do something else or a change of mind and something happens job wise. I don't know. We plan on being here until the kids are out of school and then we will start downsizing a little and building and really enjoying our time as husband and wife and the kids being adults and all that. Definitely something to look forward to. Okay. Do you have a budget for groceries? I haven't been asked this question in a long time. And what is your budget not including food? So this question is a little different now. We used to budget $1,000, 1000 to 1200 for our family um, per month for groceries. And sometimes that ended up including, we were able to stretch that and it included non-food and animal and all of that, like dog food and cat food and kitty litter. And sometimes we, but we always had an extra cushion of two to $300 for all the non-food, like paper plates, toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, pet things that we needed. So total it would be about 1500 for food, for non-food, for animals and all of that. But once I really started focusing on this channel as a job and not just, Hey, I'm doing this. Let's film it real quick and throw it up. Our food budget, since I share a lot of food on here is probably closer to 12 on its own. So about 1200 on food. And then we still have that two to 300 on the non-food and, and all of that. And sometimes we spend less, sometimes we spend a little bit more, but we have an extra little bit that we pull from. And I use a lot of my pay from here to do extra things. Um, like when I share Dollar Tree hauls and stuff like that, we don't count that towards our grocery budget. If I buy food that comes out of Dollar Tree YouTube um, expenses and all of that. So it's very hard for me to tell you guys our budget because it's broken up into so many different things because of this channel. <laughs> so I hope that answered it. But before I was sharing food and I wanted to make sure it was something different all the time and, and like special videos and things like that, especially as we're getting down into the holiday season, um, it was typically 1000 to 1200, but because I like to share extra things, we up that a little bit. So I do have the flexibility to share more things, make a bunch of freezer meals one month. Um, that's another thing. If I'm doing a bunch of freezer meals or something like that, one month does end up being a little bit more. And then the next month or two will be a little bit less. So at the end of the year, it all kind of works out, <laughs> but I hope that answers your question. All right. This one's an easy one. What is your Zodiac sign? I am a Capricorn. Where are you originally from? So I am a military brat. I was born in North Dakota. My parents are both retired Air Force. My mom and my dad both spent 20 plus years in the Air Force. So I was really able to travel a lot with them. Um, we went North Dakota to Germany. No, 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 North Dakota. We went North Dakota to Italy, to Germany, to Maryland, and then ending in Texas. Ooh, what is your favorite dish to cook? And what's your favorite meal to eat? anything man that's hard i was about to say anything pasta but i really love soups i really love salads like i love it all i love i think those are like the three though pasta soup and salad italian let's just say italian dishes big salads big pasta dishes big pots of soup like minestrone or pasta fajol oh man so yum especially getting into these cold weathers i mean it's sweater weather today it's not sweater weather tomorrow but it's sweater weather today and I'm all for it. But my favorite, so that's my favorite to eat, just Italian. We'll just say Italian. I don't have one favorite thing because I love it all. But my favorite thing to cook is also Italian and I really love cooking lasagna. It takes a while. It's actually in the cookbook that Nicole and Kira and I made and it's always listed in the description box, but I really, really, really enjoy that lasagna and it's always a crowd pleaser. I mean, no matter who we're having over, it makes a bunch. So I really only cook it when I know we're having family over or friends. It makes a bunch, but it's definitely my favorite thing to cook because I know everybody's going to enjoy it. 
Next up, why did you decide to homeschool versus a virtual school? So like I said, these questions are from a little while ago. There's a lot of questions about homeschooling, which if you guys had not seen my Dollar Tree, my recent Dollar Tree video, we are no longer homeschooling. It was a very hard decision. It was a very emotional decision. So I don't wanna go over it for too long because at the end of the day, it's our family and we have to do what's best for us. And I know a lot of y'all um, understand that. So we did decide to homeschool at the beginning of the school year or late into the summer because of how everything was going versus doing the virtual with the school because I have three children and just the way that they had the virtual lined up and the way that our household runs, it was just, I knew it was going to be very, very difficult. So we were like, we're just going to homeschool. We'll take the safer route uh, because the cases were still pretty ridiculous here. And we were like, let's just homeschool. My oldest daughter homeschools. However, she's 16. So obviously it was very, very different. Her being homeschooled versus homeschooling a two second graders and one fourth grader. That's a little bit more hands-on. And that was very difficult. It was just, I always tried to see the best out of every day. And at, once we started talking about it, it's just there, the kids relationship was changing. My relationship with them was changing and it was not going to be a good year. My relationship with Mark was changing um, because of how stressed I was all the time. So they are no longer homeschooled. So uh, we'll see if any other questions I can answer, but our main reason was the virtual just wasn't going to work um, for our family dynamic or anything like that. And you know, we, we have a laptop and a desktop, but with three kids, um, our school was not handing out tablets or anything like that. We would have needed to go get one. We did look into that, but they were always sold out. So I was like, this is no, <laughs> I'm, I'm a planner and I don't like doing things last minute. So once we knew what that virtual was going to look like, I was like, let's homeschool. <laughs> so we jumped on the homeschool bandwagon, but now they're in public school and that bandwagon didn't get very far. Um, how are you feeling about homeschooling? I kind of went over that. I was very gung ho about it. I was excited. Um, in the beginning and then just once we got into it like I mean there were good days but there were bad days and at the uh, it's just I, I don't know I, I don't like I did not enjoy homeschooling my three children I love I love all the teachers at the school that they're going to so so much they're never even going to know how much I appreciate them for coming back to school this year and all of everything that they're doing like I'm getting teary-eyed just thinking about it knowing how grateful I am that our public school, because I know some schools aren't even open yet and it's only the virtual. Oh man, see, I knew this was gonna happen talking about homeschooling. I appreciate our teachers very, very much, so much. Um, I would like to know more about the homeschool you're using. So there was nothing wrong that, with the curriculum that I picked, Timber Doodle. We've used them in the past for Paige and I loved it. Now, she was only one child though, so that's why I was excited to do homeschooling this year. We used home we used timber doodle two years for page fourth grade and sixth grade i believe and it was fantastic i loved sitting down with her her doing her workbooks me checking it after and all of that but doing it with multiple children it was hard <laughs> so if you guys have one child if you're still thinking about it i'll leave timber doodle's website down below they were out of stock of a lot of stuff for a while i think they're back in now and i know we're already well into the school year but just in case you guys are still making decisions and all of that check timber doodle out because it was nothing to do with the curriculum that we picked it was just our personalities our family dynamic and all of that that ultimately did not end up working for us being a whole entire homeschool family. How did you pick Rose and Pearl's name? So I originally wanted all of the girls to be peas because of Paige. I was in love with the name Piper and then was it Phoebe? Yeah, it was Phoebe and then Pearl. It was They were gonna be Piper and Phoebe, but Mark has a very good friend or a friend of his at the time had just had a daughter and her name was Piper. Um, it was gonna be Piper Lynn. That's what one of the girls was gonna be. And he was like, no, we can't do that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was like so gung ho about Piper. And then I was like, okay, the second I couldn't figure out or we couldn't figure out any other P names, I was like, all right, let's start thinking other ways. So instead of our oldest Paige and then Rose and Pearl all being P's, Paige's first name is Elizabeth, which is my mom's middle name. 
So I was like, okay, let's go with the E route. I was, I was in like a matchy matchy phase for some reason. And Bryce is just a standalone. I always tell him, you are one of a kind, dude. You are one of a kind. He's not named after anybody in the family. It was really hard coming up with his name. So anyway, I digress. Eventually we came up with Ella and Emma for Rose and Pearl because they were twins and that those were not popular names when we were looking them up, but we wanted them to be, have that twin feel. Like, I don't know. We just picked that. We went with that. But we knew we wanted to call all the kids by their middle names because Paige goes out by her middle name. So then we started thinking, well, what goes with Ella and Emma? What flows really well? And I came back to the P. I was like, what about Pearl? And Pearl is actually a name from Mark's line. And so I started looking back on my line and Rose popped up. And I was like, those are really cute. They still go together, Rose and Pearl. So that's how we came up with their names. There was a lot of back and forth on their names. Naming two, I mean, naming one child, giving one child a name is very hard. It's hard enough, but having to name two, that was fun though. It was a lot of fun. Okay, how did you end up in Texas? I followed my parents. I was still in high school. I did take the five year route for high school. I was, I was a little hooligan when I was in high school. So, when they retired and it was we're moving to texas their family their you know, my grandparents are here both of my parents fr are from texas their families are here so i was like uh, okay i'm coming with you <laughs> so that happened um do you think you'll ever move to another state i don't know i love to travel uh, i don't know if that probably has to do with being in the military uh, i do get bored after a little while i'm always looking to change things up I'll, I won't say never. It'll never happen. We'll never move out of Texas. Now, I do like being in Texas because, again, that's where family is. I would hate to be somewhere else and not around family just because my entire adult life I've been around family, and that would be really hard not to be around them, especially having kids. But I wouldn't say that it would never happen. It just, I don't know, it always depends. We're open. I think Mark and I are always open to moving. Um, but we are very happy with where we are we are at right now. Would you ever do vlogs again? Um, no. <laughs> I share occasionally here a vlog here and there. And for Vlogmas, which in, is coming up in December, I'm sharing a video every single day. Now, a lot of people do Vlogmas d differently. It's some people just post a video every day. It's not necessarily a vlog, just some type of video. Um, and then some people are like, it's a vlog. You are vlogging your life every single day. Um, I don't do that way. I do the, I'm posting a video every single day. So I'll post a few more vlogs in December, but that was not a fun time for me. There are way too many negative people on the internet and my personality does not do good with that. I am a very, I wouldn't say overly bubbly, but let's go the sensitive route. I am very sensitive. My feelings get hurt very easily. Um, now, I've definitely gotten a little bit more thick skinned um, in the last few years where that block and delete button is my, my friend, but it still amazes me every time somebody comments negatively that they have that kind of, like their mind goes there, you know? Like I would never do that. I don't, I have never thumbs down a video. If I'm watching something and I'm like, this is not for me. I don't comment ugly things. If I'm watching a grocery haul and they buy something and I'm like, ooh, that is not, that's a lot of, you know, whatever. I don't comment that. I don't even think that. I just watch grocery hauls to get ideas. I don't watch them to be like, you're putting that in your body, you're putting that in your body. I don't know. I do not enjoy the negativity as it is. And vlogging, it was over the top um, ridiculous. The way that some people felt like they could tell you about your life like it's my life i'm just sharing it with you to give you ideas to help you out if you need any of that any motivation or seeing how i parent um, giving ideas on things with your children that's what i'm doing i'm not putting myself out there for you to feel like you now have the right to insert yourself in my life so i just i couldn't deal with that so I know I always get questions whenever I ask, hey, what do you guys wanna see? A lot of y'all always say vlogs and at the end of the day, it's just better for me and my frame of mind if I share less vlogs <laughs> and less personal things and more motivation, cooking. 
um, ideas and things like that and less reality TV type stuff. I don't know. At the end of the day, I just couldn't handle it. So I had to get out of that kitchen. All right, I really feel like the light is not the best in here, but we're just gonna keep going for it. So the next one is, who's the house guest? and are they still living with you temporarily? Yes, we do still have a house guest. It is a family member and he does have two dogs. So now we have four dogs in the house and the dogs don't get along. So it's a lot of, hey, I'm gonna let my dogs out. Okay, you gotta put your dogs up and then vice versa. So yes, we still have a house guest um, and they are still living with us and it is a family member. All right, what is your skincare routine? You guys, I am awful at taking care of my skin. Um, I do not have a skincare routine. I guess I have a little, I have a routine, but it's not good. <laughs> I wash my face in the morning. I, sometimes I put makeup on, sometimes I don't. I do use a toner in the morning and face lotion in the morning. Face lotion, is that what it, did I say something different? I don't even know. I use lotion for my face and that's about it. And then at night, depending on what I did that day, if I take a shower, I will wash my face, but half the time I don't um, take a shower at night. I just don't enjoy it. I feel like it wakes me up and I'm not ready for bed. Half the time, 99% of the time, I do not wash my face. I use a makeup remover wipe to take my makeup off. I do use the toner again and the lotion, and then that's it. That's my skincare routine. Like it's not, I'm sure I should be doing so much more and treating my skin so much better at each year, you know, every year that I get older, but no, that's all I do. <laughs> that's my skincare routine. Okay, are you already wanting all the fall things or is that just me? Again, these questions were asked several weeks ago, but yes, I was at that time wanting all the fall things. I am so ready for this time of year just to give that little bit of cheer and festiveness into everybody's system. I think it's gonna be fantastic and it's what we need right now. Everybody just needs that extra bit this year and I am all for it. What do you like most about your new home? I love this space. Like we are so grateful to be able to find this home and get into it and all of that because all the kids have their own space. Even the girls, they have their own space where when they just need a minute, they can go in there, they can have their things out and everybody, all the kids aren't touching each other's things and all that. It's just, that's my favorite thing is everybody just having their own little place to spend their time when we need it because we were so close for um, so long <laughs> that it's just nice to branch out a little bit. So do I love, I mean, there's a lot that I love. I love being able to spread out in the kitchen a little bit. I love the pantry. There's a lot of things that I want to change. Um, no house is perfect, but the space alone is what sold us on this house and we are really, really enjoying it. The next one is, did you always want four kids? And no, Rose and Pearl were just a happy surprise. So I already had Paige when I met Mark. And when we got engaged, we found out Bryce was coming. So we talked about it a little bit after Bryce was born and he was a few months old. You know, we would talk about it every now and then. And at the end of the day, we were like, you know what? We've got our girl, we've got our boy, the, bo the best of both worlds. We're good because we thought about having one more. And then the next month I was like, she's not here. Where's Where's my shark? My time of the month, all of that. So I took a test, it was positive. So we were like, all right, you know, we were saying that maybe one more. So we're gonna have one more. That's just what was meant to be. And I went to the doctor and oh my gosh, when I saw that it was twins, it was hard. Like I was so emotional, I was scared, but we made it through. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love them so much. We were only planning on two, but possibly three, but we got four and I wouldn't change anything. I feel like that is exactly what we needed. I still go through spurts where I'm like, I want another one. I want one more. I don't know why. Um, maybe I'm getting closer and closer to menopause, who knows, but every now and then I'll be like, no, I want one more. And then I'm like, no girl, you're good. We're good. Now we're done. We've got our four and we're happy with the way our family is right now. We're gonna pause just for a second. This is not a question, but a little like a side note about me. I am a horrible public speaker. I don't know what it is. I get 
I have a little bit of anxiety and if you guys have caught any of our lives, which we haven't been live here lately because it's super hot in our office. We need a, and it's too dark. The light that I picked out is super cute and I love it, but it's not functional. <laughs> we need it to be brighter in there and we need a fan if we're gonna go live. Um, but anyway, if you guys have caught any past lives, I, can you guys see my, I mean, it's not a rash, but my skin gets flushed whenever I am public speaking. Like I do not like to talk about myself. I don't know what it is. Paige is probably the same. She's got a little bit of my anxiety, but I felt like I would point out the elephant in the room, unless you guys didn't see it and now you notice it. But let's just let's just move on because I I like doing these. I like letting you guys know a little bit more about me and answering questions that you may have in video form versus typing out and all of that. But I felt like I would point that out because I really don't enjoy public speaking. Even though this isn't to a camera, I still feel like I know I'm talking to you guys and not to a camera. So I'm flushed. I'm getting flushed talking so long about myself. All right, next question. Do you enjoy the vegan dishes that you cook for Paige? Most of them, yes. There's only been a couple of them. I am not a fan, and actually Paige isn't either, so we haven't purchased it in a while, of the any type of vegan cheese. It's, I don't know. I would, I'm just not a fan. Um, and I have not tried any vegan meat. I don't think. I think there was one dish where I had like vegan sausage crumbles in it. That was okay, but I'm all for like all the vegetables in a soup and I love vegetable broth, that kind of thing. I really enjoy it um, and most of like the pasta dishes are really good. I need a break for a second. Pointing out my anxiety got me a little extra anxious. Okay, next up, what do you do to manage stress? Don't do what I do because I either cook and eat it or I shop. That's how I manage stress. I am not good about it. Sometimes I will just, if I know that something's about to happen, like if I'm feeling stressed and I'm like getting myself ready to go out or something, I'm like, mm, do you really need to be going out right now? You're a little stressed. I will try to just take a deep breath and refocus on something else. Here lately, it's been cleaning. At the end of our homeschool journey, our long six weeks, of homeschool journey, I was cleaning every single, and I don't mean like just your typical um, taking care of the home stuff. I mean like I was reorganizing things. I was pulling things out of cabinets and wiping them down, which is always nice to do, right? But I could tell that I was super stressed. So I tried to throw it into cleaning and all of that. So you guys help me out and you let me know what you do to manage stress. Now, I don't have a whole lot of it right now, which is good. Whew. I'm not very stressed right now, I'm pretty happy. But when I do get stressed, I have bad habits and tendencies of eating or spending money, which are two habits you don't really want to have, right? So you guys give me tips and tricks on what you do, especially if you have um, anxiety to go along with stress. That's a little difficult to manage sometimes and I don't see anybody about it or I don't have any medication or anything like that. I don't like doctors either, so that doesn't help me out. But yeah, no. I, I do not have a good um, answer for you guys on that one because that's something I'm still working on within myself. Do you still collect lemons? Um, no, I never actually collected lemons. Uh, Lemonade Mom is a playing off of my last name because I did keep my last name when I married Mark. And when I was starting YouTube and trying to think up a name, Pearl would not... <laughs> stop asking for lemonade like she just constantly was asking for lemonade but she called me the lemonade mom she came up to me and she was like you're the lemonade mom and I was like oh I kind of like that so Pearl named my channel lemonade mom she gave me the name for this um, and I wouldn't have it any other way because I love it but the second everybody started seeing lemonade mom um, I would get messages and emails and stuff of lemon stuff and get things in the mail and so I just started decorating with lemons. I never really did before. So it's because of this channel that I was collecting lemons and decorating with them. And But no, I don't collect lemons at all. I do like decorating with them though. Every single room in the main living area, I've made sure I have some kind of lemon just so it's a little cohesive and all of that, but I never really collected them. It's just something that happened. How do you stay motivated and have so much energy? You guys, I have my days where I just get sucked into a show 
or something on TV or I get a really good book that I can't put down and I don't want to do anything but hang out and chill or if I'm having a bad day or it's like really gloomy outside that just sucks the motivation out of you right um, I have days like that but I do feel like I am pretty energetic and motivated during the day to get things done for the most part that's all because of y'all I have no idea what I would be doing if I wasn't sharing with you guys or if I wasn't planning things out and want and figuring out things to share with you guys. So you keep me motivated and you give me the energy to keep going every day, whether it is I'm cleaning up my house to do, um, to share, you know, a clean with me, or if I'm cleaning up the kitchen to share a recipe with you guys, keeping on top of things. And once you are doing that for so long, it really feels good. So I used to write out everything I wanted to do in the morning. And I mean everything. Um, I shared it one time on Instagram and I'm like, I did the important things like feed the kids. <laughs> I even had that right now. And now I just write morning routine because I know what all is included in that. So by sharing that so many times or by wanting to get ready for the day and have all these things done so I could focus on YouTube or if I really wanted to have a day off or if I knew I was going on vacation like I just did, those types of things keeps me motivated to keep moving around. So I would get up, take a shower, brush my teeth, have my cup of coffee, pack the kids' lunch boxes, start a load of laundry, unload the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, hand wash any dishes, whether they were left over from the day before or from the morning dishes. And then that's my morning routine or take the kids to school is kind of the last thing. That's my morning routine. And then I know that I can get into whatever I want during the day. So as far as staying motivated, I like to plan out my day and that keeps me motivated. So I can check off those little things and know and feel good that this is everything I was man I managed to get done. Um, and that means I can get into this or, okay, I got this, this, and this done. Now I get to put it together into a video and share it with you guys. I make my list. Lists are what keep me motivated, knowing that I get to check that off. And at the end of the day, look at everything that I accomplished that motivates me. And each time I check something off, that gives me the energy to keep going on and moving through my list. Do your kids ever ask to be in your videos? Um, they used to all the time. And I think that was when I was vlogging. So they were just used to seeing me with the camera all day. Whereas now I'm specifically doing certain videos and that's that. So, and when they were younger, it was very cool to them. They were like, oh, I want to be on the camera. So yes, when they were a little younger, a couple years ago, but here lately, sometimes if I have the camera out or if they know that I'm filming in the kitchen or something like that, I mean, I ask them to be quiet so I don't have to do a lot of voiceovers. I like to be able to talk to you guys in real time versus going back over and voicing it over, but the, it's rare now. Paige for sure. She doesn't like to be in front of the camera and Bryce here here lately is like, no, do not put that camera on me. He doesn't even like me to take pictures of him anymore. So easy answer to that is Paige and Bryce, no. And Bryce here lately, like the last year, he's like, oh, do not, don't film me. He'll say, don't film me. Even when I'm taking pictures, he's like, I don't want to get my picture taken. He's very anti sharing himself right now. Um, Paige has been for a while. She's like, eh, no, I don't want to be on the camera. Rose and Pearl go through spurts where sometimes if I'm because I'm not vlogging every day, it's kind of different. But if I'm in the kitchen filming something, sometimes I'll be like, hey, can I help you? I wanna help you on, in your video, um, make something. And then sometimes they just, they're like, are you filming mom? They'll ask me before they like walk by or something cause they don't wanna be on the camera. So it's just different most of the time, but it's more Rose and Pearl that you guys will see than Bryce and Paige. Okay, what do you see yourself doing when all your kids move out of the house? Ooh, I don't, I mean, I feel like I'll still be sharing here maybe. I don't know, is YouTube still gonna be around? Who knows? Um, I am launching a webpage very, very soon, a website this year, by the end of this year, hopefully by the end of October. So I'll have that. Um, I'm gonna start blogging a little bit, maybe once a week, sharing things that I don't share here on, here on YouTube, whether it is kid related, mommy related, or just woman related, or you know, something to do with something that I want to share with you guys that week in blog form where I'm writing it out in paragraphs and just sharing that whether there's pictures or not, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then I have a couple projects that I'm working on, some free pr printables. So I'm hoping that this whole social media thing will still be around. I'll still have that. Otherwise, I mean, 
at the end of the day, Mark and I want to retire early or as soon as we can and just enjoy each other and enjoy life and travel and all of that. And that's something that I would share too. So right now I can't see myself not sharing with you guys, whether that is here on YouTube or Instagram, or if there happens to be something new out there in the future, um, where every, you know, where everything's on, then I've just been doing it for so long now that it comes second nature to me sharing it with you, with you guys. So, um, any plans I know would be revolved around y'all. Actually, one big plan is when the kids are all moved out of the house, we will be building and we'll definitely share that journey as well. Um, okay, here's a question. Why does Paige do homeschooling? Because that's just what works for her. Um, I did the intro, it says do intro. Family size, ages, where we live. Oh, okay. So I did the family size. We're a family of six with three pets. Um, I did our ages, where we live. We are in San Antonio, Texas. All right, dogs, how they got named and if they have a favorite family member. So we do have two dogs, Bella and Buford. They are, I always get their ages mixed up. Like if they're 11 this year or 12, I always wanna make them a year younger or a year older. I think they're 11. <laughs> they're 11 years old and I am their favorite family member because the kids, I mean, the kids will love on them sometimes, but I'm who they see most often. I'm the one who feeds them breakfast and dinner. And I'm the one who's here during the day, so they they see me all the time. So I'm definitely their favorite family member. Polly though, Polly loves me a lot, but she really loves Paige too because we got Polly when it was just her and I. Polly was our first pet. Her full name is Polly Pocket Lemon, but we call her Polly for short. <laughs> so Polly definitely uh, enjoys Paige just as much as she enjoys me. But the dogs are all me. They're all I'm their mama. Okay, do you ever miss working outside the home? Yes, I do. I really enjoy doing this type of work because I get to make my own schedule. Um, I don't need to necessarily leave my house. I, Like I mentioned, if I ever worked outside the home, I enjoy being able to do things for the kids. Being in public school, I can do things with the school, I can go to their field trips and all of that. But the one thing is though, it's just me and you. Me and the camera and then um, my interaction with you guys online. There's not a whole lot of face-to-face -face friendships. Um, I got real lucky meeting Kira online and then her moving to my area. That has been like fantastic. Like definitely mind-blowing having somebody so close to be able to get together with. But other than that, it's always just been nobody that I really clicked with. But working outside the home, you're able to click more. You know what I mean? Like going to school functions and things like that. You meet people, you chit chat. There's you know people in the neighborhood, the kids who have kids and my kids hang out with their kids and we um, chat a little bit, but there's no like going out to brunch and things like that. Whereas when I did work outside the home before I had children, well, I already had Paige, but before I had Bryce and the girls, before I became a stay at home mom, I made friendships with ladies at work where we would go out after work and it wouldn't just be a work friendship. I do miss that sometimes being able to meet more people, but I, my personality is definitely more of the quiet and stand back. So this works better <laughs> for me. Oh, here's another one about moving. Do you and Mark ever think you'll move outside of Texas? I have no idea. I would not say no, we would not because you never know. It could happen, but I don't see us moving outside of Texas. Oh, okay. Um, I still have quite a few questions. I'm going to answer maybe a couple more because I feel like I'm looking at the time. I've already had to stop and restart and change the battery. So I feel like this is gonna be over an hour. Do you prefer cooking or baking? Baking, <laughs> just because there's so much goodness and I bake more towards the end of the year and that's what we're in right now. So I'm in full on baking mode. Oh, how long have you and Kira been friends? I feel like I've been friends with her the entire time I've been on YouTube, but I know that's not true because I know I was on YouTube for a little longer. Kira would know this answer because I feel like we talk about it all the time and my memory is shot. Like I have so many holes in my memory. I do not, I cannot remember things at all. She's got a great one. I want to say three years because I've been on for four, five years, four and a half years, whatever. And we became friends and started talking on YouTube after I had already been on for maybe a year, I think. So who knows? Around the three though, I know it's, I've, I wanna say it's at least been three years. Ooh, will the family get more pets one day? Uh, we just got a pet. Well, we we did not just get a pet. 
Paige got a pet that she's been asking me for for years. And I told her for her 16th birthday, I would get her a snake. That's what she wanted. But COVID, um, we weren't going out around her birthday. So we waited and then I didn't want to get a snake and not be able to feed it. So I wanted to make sure that we waited long enough for everything to be open again and plenty of, uh, you know, places to go to be able to feed this snake. And that day came a couple weeks ago. We went, oh my gosh, y'all's reaction to sharing cracked me up. So many people were like, why would you get a snake? Like I, I did delete some. <laughs> and then I got a few like instant messages, DMs on Instagram. It's just a snake. I don't know. It's very little. Yes, it's going to get bigger. We got a male, so it's not going to get as big as a female snake. We got a ball, ball python stays in Paige's room. Like I said, it's Paige's snake. She feeds it one mouse a week. It's not every day or anything like that. And snakes aren't, you're not supposed to just let them out all the time and let them slither around wherever. They like to be in their tank, in their habitat, hanging out um, and feeling nice and cozy. So no, it's not going to eat Polly. A lot of y'all were worried that the snake was going to get Polly and eat her. Polly is humongous. So no, it's a baby snake right now. It's going to be a while until it's big enough to do any damage to any small animal, but definitely not big enough to hurt Polly while she's still kicking, while she's still here. I feel like by the time that snake is big enough, Paige is gonna have her own place and Polly is gonna be here with me, but y'all were very worried. And about the kids too, it's Paige's pet, not the kids, the kids don't get to touch it at all. But outside of that, I don't see us getting any other pets. The kids have asked for pets, but we're just, we've got plenty. We've got a handful enough with everything going on. Okay guys, so those are all the questions that I'm going to get through today. I've been sitting here for a while. Um, I didn't get to all of them. There was a lot of questions, like random questions about me and then a lot having to do with homeschooling, but because of the situation and how we've changed things, I feel like you guys might not want the answer to those anymore. But regardless, this video is long enough. You guys have sat and listened to me and hopefully had a snack and a drink or something or got some cleaning done while I've been up just chatting with y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this isn't something that I share all the time, but I felt like since it had been a while and a lot of you guys are new, maybe some of you guys had some new questions and wanted to get to know me a little bit more. So I hope that this was interesting to you guys. If it was, give it a big thumbs up. I always like to get to just sit down and chat with you guys for a little bit. It definitely breaks things up around here. So if you are new, I would love for you to subscribe. Like I mentioned, I don't do a lot of these Q and A's, but I share a lot of mommy related content. Take a peek at what I have been posting. And if it's for you, hit that subscribe button. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.